What happened between David Letterman and Regis Philbin? Regis Philbin and David Letterman were rumored to be in a feud during the 90s. Regis Philbin was one of the most accomplished and well-known talk show hosts in television history. Americans spent their mornings with him, watching him co-host live. First with Kathy Lee Gifford and then with Kelly Ripa. He also hosted the primetime game show Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? David Letterman is another titan of the talk show world. Philbin was a frequent guest on Late Night with David Letterman over the years. After Philbin's death in 2020, Letterman sang his praises and shared memories of their time together. Rumors of a feud between the two circulated in the late 90s. In 1999, the New York Post published a story about a possible feud between Letterman and Philbin. It all started during a taping of Letterman's Late Night. According to the article, Philbin didn't hear or see Letterman when the two passed by each other backstage. Letterman reportedly took it personally and told his makeup artist Philbin had snubbed him. The makeup artist is said to have recounted that exchange to Philbin, who was on the show to perform a comedy bit. Letterman reacted to the possible snub by giving Philbin the finger when he walked on stage. While most would assume Letterman was kidding, the article called that into question. During the show, Letterman called Philbin a little weasel. Philbin discussed the matter on his show the next day, describing Letterman's gesture for the audience as it happened off-camera. Letterman discussed the incident with Charles Grodin when he was a guest on the show. Grodin had talked to Philbin about the incident. Letterman confirmed the gesture but dismissed the rest of Philbin's account to Grodin, calling him a lying pantywaist. Philbin talked about the moment again on his show the following day. He clarified that he didn't snub Letterman intentionally, but said, it was disconcerting to see a guy give me that gesture. Still, Philbin was open to the possibility of it all being a joke. You know, you never really know if he's kidding or what the hell he's doing, he said. Grodin agreed, saying, the whole thing feels like it would be a joke, but then you kind of think maybe it's not a joke. He added, the man spends a lot of time by himself, and if you spend that much time by yourself, maybe you would think someone snubbed you if they didn't see you. Philbin also commented on Letterman's lack of socialization, saying, he's the phantom of the opera. Philbin also threw out the idea of calling Letterman to clear things up, but he said, I hate to bother him. David Letterman joked with Regis after he recovered from heart surgery. Philbin underwent triple bypass surgery at Wild Cornell Medical Center in March 2007 due to plaque in his arteries. Philbin had previously substituted for Letterman on late night when he underwent quintuple bypass surgery seven years prior. Philbin returned as a guest on Letterman's show before his procedure. In April 2007, Philbin returned to his own show following the surgery. He was greeted with a standing ovation from the audience, his co-host Kelly Ripa, and Letterman. What an occasion this has been, Philbin said. Finally back after six weeks. Six weeks and one day. Philbin said that he lost eight pounds following the procedure and the recovery process was more difficult than he expected. The rewards are great at the end of it. They add years to your life, they say. But in the meantime, it's a tough one, he said. Letterman told Philbin that he looked so healthy it looks like you're on one of those cruises. Ripa told Letterman that Philbin was not healing as quickly as you did. Letterman responded by joking, well, in my case you're dealing with a superhuman being. Letterman also joked to Philbin that surgeons operating on celebrities invite the rest of the staff to come in and look at you naked. David fondly remembers Regis after his death and shares memories with Jimmy Kimmel. When Philbin died in 2020 at the age of 88, Letterman paid tribute on social media. Regis is in the same category as Johnny Carson, he wrote. Superlative. He was on our show a million times, always the best guest we ever had, charming, lovable and could take a punch. When he retired I lost interest in television. I love him. That's it for today's video make sure to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this.